We will be traveling across North America in search of the best teenage soccer players. They'll be picked in order to compete for a single position at the Everton Youth Academy. This is their chance to go pro and earn a six-figure contract. Only one of these skilled athletes will survive the final cut, but most of them will endure the frustration of failure. Previously on Soccer Dreams. Okay, welcome gentlemen. Uh, you know why you're here. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate that we've got to make decisions to bring the squad down to, uh, to 16. It's not done on a personal basis, it's done on a professional basis. Uh, we all think you're good guys, you must remember that. Man, it, it, it is so hard of course because my kids are the same age as them. I, I, would, I would hate it if my, my kid was in that situation, but that's life. So now we just got to look forward and hope to do our best and see what happens today and tomorrow. See who gets cut and who stays. Are you surprised by the cut? Do I think it's going to get cut? I really don't know, to be honest. I wish I did, but I don't. I mean, there's some who are probably more likely to be cut than others. I don't want to name names at this point, but um, nah, I don't know yet. Could Anyone can make it at this point, I think. This is very difficult, and there's no easy way to say it, but unfortunately you've not made it into the last 16. I think you'll play it as standard, and I wouldn't say that to many people. I think you will play it as standard. I'm not sure what standard, though. That's, that's the way it goes. I've been cut, I've been cut more than anybody else, but yet I, had, I made it. Because you know what? It was those cuts that got me where I needed to go. It's those cuts that got me standing here in front of you. So you have to listen to what we're saying to you. All right. Another day in soccer dreams. Mr. Hall is ready to continue his cuts. The atmosphere is tense in the House of Champions. And the number of players left in the house is down to only seven. Gentlemen, the final, the third group. Mark? Yes? If you could bring the final group. Thank you. Are you the one? That Mr. Ray Hall would like to see. That's the final group. Can we see Kayla Lehman, please? Charlie Bolio. Amir Zernick. Francis Letourno, Matu. Gabriel Evie. Tate Newmarch. Welcome gentlemen, you know why you're here, it's time to decide whether you stay or whether you go. Uh, we've been left with the, the, uh, the process of making a decision, uh, we're looking to, to form a squad now of 16 players, okay. Uh, the decisions have been made tonight through uh, a consensus of an opinion of, of all of the coaches. It's been based on, uh, there's been nothing personal. It's been based purely and simply on a professional judgment, a professional decision. But let me just say to you, it is an opinion. And it's what you do with those opinions. I'd like, for the benefit of us all this evening, just if, if you could, maybe in your own words, just for 30 seconds, just let us know why you feel you should remain in the squad. 
for the rest of the period of soccer dreams. Stefan? Well, well, I think I should remain here because I've worked hard. I know I deserve to be here. Um, I've done my, I think I've done my job so far, but I know I can play a lot better than I have. Um, I gave everything I have, and that's how I said. Take to uh, Ottawa. Stefan made it to the Oz Dome and the house in King City. Uh, my name is Stefan Sebra, I'm number 109, and I'm the next superstar. Exercises are, um, they look easy, but they're pretty difficult. In the house, he was part of Team Top Notch. Okay, where's your best position? Come on, you've got to tell me. You like playing wide right or, or in the middle or, or right down the centre? I'm just interested because you've, athletically, I'll tell you now, I think you've got more than a lot of our boys in England. But I don't think you know where you're playing. OK. Uh, yeah, would you like to just take a seat outside? Relax, don't, don't worry too much. I believe I Take. should stay in the competition because I worked on this my whole life. I've dedicated my life to soccer. And I want this more than anything right now because I, all I do is train myself. And I, I just want to be on a team, especially a team in Europe because that's where the best is. And if you want to be the best, you have to be trained by the best. Tate Newmarch won his first round in the Vaughn tryout and then made the finals in King City. 169, step forward. Tate is a good player and he knows the reality of soccer. My mom coached me from the time I was like four to seven. Your mom coached you? Yeah, like in house league. And she like she did it amazing because the first four, like three, four years of my life in house league, like she taught me and I was like the top scorer every year. My grandpa, her dad, like he plays soccer, he, everyone, and then I have like three family members playing on the Ghanaian national team. Stay tuned. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good you think you are. Okay, thank you, Tate. You'd like to take a seat? Gabriel? Oh, yeah. I have worked hard and I deserve to stay, and I'm just hoping that I stay so I can get better in my soccer skills and go up and higher to the best of the best. 135, Gabriel Eby, step forward. You are going to Ottawa. Gabriel Ebby. <laughs> Qualified for the House of Champions in the Toronto tryouts. First in Vaughan, then the second round in King City. Focus more at the bar and look up more. He was one of the brilliant and loved players in the finals. It was good and fun. Well, what do you think is going to happen when this gets on TV? You're going to be a little celebrity there, you think? I know, radio star. Okay, thank you, Gabriel. Francis? Uh, I think I, I should stay because each time I step on the field, I give everything I got, and that's, I think, that's why I should be in, and that's, that's what I want to say. I hope I can play for everything and show to the world what I can, what I can do. Number five, 41, step forward. Francois Mathieu. Mon nom est Francis Letourneau Mathieu. What's your number? 
541. Euh, je viens de Hall, en Ottawa. Euh, je crois que je fais pas mal bien jusqu'à maintenant. Je crois que le calibre est assez bon. Je crois que je vais pouvoir rester jusqu'au bout. J'espère. Euh, je crois que je vais essayer de montrer euh, mes skills, puis montrer aux autres euh, qu'est-ce que je suis capable de faire avec le ballon. Je crois que ça serait une des plus belles expériences. C'est un club euh, au placé en Angleterre, puis c'est un rêve. Injury bien. did not spare oh, this good sure. player, but he kept on trying his best. He did his job quietly and left his mark on every game. Okay, Francis, thank you. Take a seat. I'm in. Uh, I think I have to stay because I work every day in my life uh, till I'm young. I play soccer every day and uh, playing professional is my dream. I always want to play professional till I'm young. And uh, in this competition, I try very hard. Uh, I know sometimes I didn't do my best, but at the end, I think I did a good job and I hope uh, I'm going to stay. Number 542, you come forward, please. Emir Zernik was everybody's favorite with his speed, technical abilities, and energy. And his good looks didn't hurt. Uh, 542. Uh, I'm from uh, Quebec. Ben, jusqu'à présent, je fais bien. Uh, sauf, uh, je peux faire mieux. Je peux monter. Uh, J'ai beaucoup d'habileté avec le ballon. J'ai bonne vision de jeu. Uh, J'ai hâte à l'après-midi pour les matchs. Euh, moi, qu'est-ce que je fais bien, c'est... Won the respect of the coaches and qualified in the Ottawa tryouts. J'ai éliminé un adversaire où je regarde où je joue vite, longue balle, les balles dans les trous. Comme ça, ils vont me remarquer. Ça, ça voudrait dire euh, vraiment beaucoup pour moi. À cause, depuis que je suis petit, je, je veux être pro. Puis là, j'ai entendu parler d'Everton. Puis là, j'ai dit, c'est un bon club, donc il fallait que j'essaie. Puis euh, si je réussis, ça, c'est pour ma famille, pour tout le monde, je serais, je serais vraiment content. Ce serait... Merveilleux. Ok, merci. I think I deserve to stay because I have too worked my butt off here and uh, I played my heart out for the eight days. Um, maybe not always playing my best, but the potential is always there and whatever the coaches have told me, I think I've done it. it. We're not going to put you guys through. 623, congratulations. Taking it through. Charlie Beaulieu made it to Ottawa and the finals through the Calgary tryouts. Once at the Ozdome, he joined Team Top Notch. My name is Charlie Beaulieu. I'm a uh, play center back and center mid. I'm number 623. Um, I've been to Europe twice, played there. I've been training there. I'm number one, I'm chosen. You're the chosen one, eh? I'm the chosen one. Stay tuned. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. John, thank you. Would you like to take a seat? Caleb? Oh, I think I should stay because uh, I think I have what it takes to become the one. And uh, I think I just need to focus a little bit more on what I'm doing instead of just fooling around. And uh, I need to work on my finishing. But if I stay here, I, I know I can make that better. So that's why I should stay. We first met Kalen in Calgary, Alberta. Kalen was selected last for the House of Champions. Coach Steve Niger felt that number 603, Kalen Lavery, deserved a second look. All right. Go. Once in the House of Champions, he got the coach's attention by working very hard. Okay, 
Caleb. Um, let me say straight away, you've not made it. You've not made it into the final 16. And I'm going to give you some feedback as, as to why, and then the coaches will, will offer that to you. As a front player, uh, I have to say, when I first saw you, and, and you have to appreciate that in my position, uh, I'm not just looking at, at the whole, but I'm not just looking at, at the football side of it. I'm looking at um, a potential in terms of a young player possibly moving and playing at the highest level. And, and I don't mean this to be rude in, in any way, shape or form. And I see you and your socks up above your knees. Uh, so Thierry on knees got an awful lot to answer for. I see you wearing spectacles and I know, I know Davids uh, wears them, but I'm sure he wears the glasses that stay on. Three times in the course of the last three days, when you've actually jumped for a ball and headed it, your spectacles, your glasses have come off, and you need to do something about that. Get yourself contact lenses or, or you know, the, the, the spectacles that, that stay on. Okay, and I'm sorry if that sounds a bit rude, but that's that's kind of the nature of it. Um, you're physically strong, that's your best attribute, and you need to work on that. Your finishing's okay. I think if you just concentrated a little bit more and, and, and instead of trying trying to kick the ball inside out, but placed it a little bit more, a little bit more control, you'd score more goals. I'd be fortunate to see some of the best young players develop and the big front players. And you know, they all have something different. You know, they're either fantastically quick, they've got uh, a fantastic understanding of, of what their job is. Uh, they finish like you've never seen it before. Some work very hard, some have terrific pace. You're a player, okay, in, my, in, in, in my opinion, that doesn't do anything exceptionally well, but does all of the things quite well. And I think you'll play at a decent standard. I'm just not sure what standard that will be. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to the world, Katie. Try not to use that toe all the time. I think uh, Coach Ray has summed up um, my perspective, my sentiments as well. The one thing I will add on to that as a, as, as a professional footballer, today a call was made to you from you know, our standing goalkeeper today. Now, regardless of what you feel about that decision, like, you have to respect it position where he plays behind you. you know, keep teammates, communication, respect. You know, it's, it's easy. Anyone needs to say, well, it's not my job, it's not my responsibility. You didn't really take a lot of responsibility for it. And fair enough, you said afterwards, like, you know what, coach, I completely put my hand up. It wasn't, um, you know, I didn't mean, it wasn't so much that I didn't agree what was being asked of me. But at that point, particular point in time, you weren't willing to get on with the job. So. Just take that with you, mate. Again, you know, had a great week, commendable. I wish you the best of luck. Well, Kellen, just want to wish you all the best in you know, your football days and you know, just work hard, keep it going. Unfortunately, today's not your day. You did approach me about the shoes, you did show it to me. We did go try to find you the right size. We couldn't find the right size in time. At the same time, son, you need, you're a footballer, you need your tools at your side all the time. I want to wish you all the best and, and I hope it was a great experience for you at Soccer Dream. Good luck. Kellen, you're part of our group and uh, I have to say that you worked hard. Um, I was personally impressed with your vertical jump. Physically strong for your age. You need to start working on your running technique. And for a striker, there's a roles and responsibilities that you need to understand the type of runs you do, when you do them, and so on and so forth. Thanks for having me here. It was good. Um, I tried my best, I guess, but uh, I guess it wasn't what you, what you guys wanted, so uh, thanks. It was a good experience. Uh, yeah, I've learned that uh, I guess I do need to control a few things, and yeah, I don't know. I've learned a few, but I took them in. Got it. Okay, Ken, thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All the best. Good luck.
Kalen will be missed, but 10 more have to be cut to the top six. Now we are left with the top 16. I just want to say congratulations to everybody. Well done, we worked hard. And now we just got to bust our ass all week to show these guys that they made the right choice, right? Yes. Coming up on Soccer Dreams. Is there any way that we can uh, kind of bond the team together? But today we got the day off, we got to go to Ottawa. We went to the parliament buildings and it was really fun. We just had a relaxing day today. Because I do want to find something cool, man. <laughs> tomorrow we have our, our big game. We play a game tomorrow against the university team. We play a game against a men's team. Some like really good men's team who's been winning everything. Right. Hey guys, let's have a good game tonight. I think it's a little bit on, I want to show people I can score goals in. I want to show people how good I am. And we've really lost the plot a little bit. They say you live once, so I live once to the fullest. Yeah. Respect the game, respect the name. The day to the free block, even in pain. I was king of the streets, until they put me in chains. I got the heart of the game, so I'm a boss of the game. I did my time in the game, yeah, I'm ready to die. Got my friend for the streets, a lot of pain in my mind. Nobody can stop that, I did the rack. Hit the ready to die, you hear the sound of the man. Nobody can stop that, I did the rack. Hit the ready to die, you hear the sound of the man. In the day, the sequel, money's the root of evil. Dying is guaranteed to live my life to free. Lord, I came from the ghetto, evil murder with metal. If you heard it together, you see the reason my mental. Going through pain, if you insane, the weed is.